These feet are made for walking, and that's just what they'll do. But one of these days, these feet are going to break down because you're probably wearing the wrong shoe or orthotic. Those are actually the original lines for the Sinatra hit, but they went with a more catchy version. But it works out well for us today here at Kintac in St. Catharines. Good to see my good pal. Anthony. Hey, buddy. Hey, Tim. How are you doing? Good, Good to man. see you again. Good to see you. So we are in St. Catharines. We've, how, many, how many spots do we have now? We're, uh, we've got two now. We're, this is the first time you've been to St. Catharines. Right, because we were in the, Hamilton, we're in Hamilton, Hamilton before. A times. And we are, we're just about to open our third location in Stony Creek in about two weeks. Okay. So we'll be, uh, we'll be doing a long-awaited grand opening for all three Ontario stores. Uh, so people can come in, book a, a, one, a free one-to-one -one appointment uh, between May 4th and 7th and get some really amazing deals on our, on our footwear and learn a little bit about how they move. Let's, let's kind of recap Kintech for anybody that doesn't know. What are you guys all about? Yeah, so our mission is to, to keep people active on their feet for life. So as you've seen before, we, uh, we use the latest technology. Yeah, like I've been on the treadmill before. You yeah, we do the video things. gate analysis, the 3D scanning technology. Uh, and we combine that with our clinical expertise to provide real, really personalized experiences for people to, to hopefully change the way they think and feel about their feet. Okay, so I've, I have one of your orthotics on and it's worked out great, but it, it's been like... It's been close to a year okay. since you were first in to see us and we made the orthotics for you. And now is about the time that we, we, we usually do a, a follow-up appointment. So we want to take a look at the orthotics, see how they're holding up. Uh, take a look for any abnormal wear You want to look at these stinky, these stinky it's part of It's part of the job. We're, <laughs> we're used to it. Okay. So we want to, and then we also want to touch base with you. Has there been any changes since we made the orthotics? Any injuries or surgeries that may have uh, changed the way that you move and, and would change the, how the orthotic is functioning? No, but I'm using these orthotics in all of my shoes. So what I'm doing is I'm taking out like my Blundstones, I'm wearing these, and I'm, I'm moving them from my Blundstones, I'm moving in, into my running shoes from shoe to shoe to shoe. Yeah. Is that what you should be doing? Or so like? with this orthotic, we, we started you off with kind of an all-purpose orthotic. So you can move them from shoe to shoe, uh, and, it, and it works well for Blundstones, uh, running shoes, uh, boots, uh, winter boots, things like that. Okay. Now, we can get into very specific uh, activity uh, designs to tailor it to what the activities that you need to do, whether it's work related okay. or the activities that you love to do. So okay. we have all these different, we have tons of different material combinations that we can, that we can use, right? So we, someone who's in a, a hard surface all day long wearing a, a work boot or a safety shoe they may want that extra cush really dampen the impact on their feet for right. those long days if someone loves to to run then they may want this ultra light material oh, super light, right? yeah like it, you barely notice it's there it, it gives your foot excellent guidance but doesn't weigh you down so it, you can keep moving at a good clip can you look at this and see anything in my orthotic the wear and tear on it if it's if it's working properly or if Absolutely. Needs, so we look for right? we look for excessive wear marks in certain high pressure areas. Okay, that would indicate that we need to uh, to fine tune it or adjust it. We want to look at the the underside. Make sure everything's still nice and balanced. We can take it to a, a flat surface. Make sure that it's still solid. Right. There's no teetering. Right. There's no warping or distortion of the the device itself. So this is still good. I can still use these orthotics. These this, are still fine. This is still in good shape. Yeah. We but it's may want to reseal some of the wear and tear because you're pulling it in and out. You've got the sweat and the oils of your foot breaking down some of the materials. So we, we the stink. <laughs> so we, we shine it up a little bit. Okay. It helps protect the underlying surface. And, and then, then we, we can, can add we can add a new one. Then we start adding tailored designs, right? Okay, so, so let's take let's take a break. We'll get we'll get into the tailored designs. I have these these hokas, hokas right that I yeah. absolutely love. So I'm gonna put them in here and then when we come back we want to get into finding the proper footwear for the activity that you're doing. And also with the temperature getting pretty nice out, like yesterday was awesome. I bet you many of you were in flip-flops. I bet you many of you were probably wearing the wrong flip-flops. We'll get into that with Anthony and the gang here at Kintec in St. Catharines to go along with the spot in Hamilton. Good morning. Welcome back to St. Catharines. Pretty exciting day for me. I get excited about different things these days as I get a little bit older. <laughs> New orthotics for me! Back with Anthony Harper here and the gang at Kintec at, uh, I guess, their second spot in the region. The other one is in Hamilton, and we visited that one a few times. But we're kind of back a house. 
because we're creating yeah. some new orthotics. Now, do the orthotics get made in-house, or how does it all come? So we have, a, we have our own lab that fabricates our orthotics. Does all the heavy lifting for all right. of our clinics in, in Ontario. Uh, and then we do the finishing work in here. We fit it to the shoes. We need to fine-tune it or tweak it uh, based on how you're responding to it. We do all that in-house here. Okay, so these are my old orthotics. What's the difference between these two? So this is our, our sport orthotics. So some of the design features differ from this a little bit. We've got some... Uh, extra rebound material to give you a good spring into your step if you're running or, or doing a lot of walking. Yeah. We've got this heel stabilizer that's great for doing any lateral side to side type movements or stop and start activities like baseball, soccer, things like that. And this top cover is designed to just reduce shear so you get better grip, better feel, proprioception for doing a lot of activity. Does related. it reduce smell? <laughs> Can't guarantee that. <laughs> but I'm, I'm putting these, I love these, these, these hokas the last time I got them um, with you guys. And that's the key. We got the orthotic in. Okay, that feels good. Should really undo your laces, Tim, when you're putting your shoe on. Just saying. <laughs> there you go. He's told me that before. <laughs> Get to that, though, and why that's important. The why I should not be doing it like that. I'm so, doing it for time purposes. I actually do that all the time. But... <laughs> just helps with longevity of the shoe, durability. It, it will also ensure that you're, you're locking your foot into the right place in the shoe. You want it nice and tight. Yeah. Okay. For so many years, I'm going for the shoe that looks the best, the, the color, all of that type of stuff. And that still can be the case, but how do you know the proper shoe for me or anybody coming through the door? Yeah, so we want to make sure that you're, we're, we're getting the right shoe for the activities that you're doing, as well as the way that you move and the shape of your foot. Right? So there's a few uh, functional elements that we want to kind of target, right? The first, one of the first things we're looking at, I'll grab another Hoka since you're in a Hoka, okay. is we, we look at the forefoot rocker, okay? And that's where the toe starts to curve upwards, right? There's a couple different types of rockers. A ri rigid, strong, stiff forefoot rocker is going to be great for anybody uh, who's doing a lot of long distance walking, long distance running, because it reduces strain to the soft tissue of the bottom of your foot. If you suffer from plantar fasciitis, it's going to help you with that. That's what I got. If you've so got, good. that's why I like them. Yeah, if you've got right. burning, tingling pain in the ball of your foot, it's going to offload that area really well. Okay, next. Next, we want to look at we can uh, we look at the stack height of the shoe, oh, the right? Stack, okay. So the, that's the absolute thickness underneath your foot. Okay. A, a really thick stack height is going to give you ultimate cushioning and dampening throughout your day. So if you stand for long periods of time, or again, you're doing a lot of walking, it's significantly reducing the impact loads to your feet, ankles, knees, hip, back. Do we got one more? Do we have do we one more tip when looking? Well, there's lots of tips. Okay, but okay. There's another good tip is that you want to consider the heel pitch of the shoe, right? So how high is the, how thick is the heel versus the forefoot? Okay. Right? A higher heel pitch is going to be great for people that suffer from tight calves or Achilles injuries in the past. A lower heel pitch will just uh, encourage you to do a shorter stride length, which may help reduce impact into the knee. So if you've got knee injuries, yeah. that's going to benefit do you. Do people need appointments coming in? It's best to go, we, you know, we want to, we, we do free one-to-one -one appointments where you'll get all the video gait analysis, the 3D scannings of your foot shape, and then we learn a little bit about what you do at work and at play to help you find the right shoe for the activity that you're doing. Like nice weather. That means we're kind of changing our shoe maybe into sandals. What sandal do you got? We'll break down what you should be wearing. Come back with Anthony and the gang at Kintac in St. Catharines on Morning Life. Ah, pretty nice day yesterday. We're starting to get there slowly but surely into the nice weather and that means our footwear is changing like flip-flops and sandals. And I'm guilty of this too. You probably are as well. You like when you're changing into flip-flops, you just get like those flutter boards because they're cheap and they're easy and you wear all summer. But then at the end of the summer, your feet hurt. So we're getting some tips from uh, from Anthony and the gang here at Kentech in St. Catharines. That's a calm and oh calm yeah, you thing. nailed it right on the head. Uh, we spend like nine in Canada. We're spending nine months of the year in structured footwear. And then when we get weather like yesterday, everybody throws caution to wind, kicks off their shoes, let yeah. the uh, air breathe through their toes. But you're, you're right. It's usually a, a thin piece of foam held together with a peg and a, and a thong. Because right? they're like eight bucks. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. But it's just, it's your It your does foot's, factor in down. Absolutely. Down the your road. foot's not ready for that workload, right? You're, you're throwing it through an extreme range of motion, forcing it to work a lot harder than what it's used to. 
these Hoka, so I got these Hoka running shoes that I love. And I never even heard of Hoka before I came to you guys, like, I don't know, when we last together, six months six ago. Six months, yeah. So is Hoka really kind of taking off? Like, Yeah, we're seeing an amazing response to Hoka because they're so comfortable, they're yeah. structured, they work well with a variety of different types of insoles. What's, what's their sandals like? So their sandals, same principles as what we talked about with footwear, right? right. So this versus your typical or traditional uh, flip-flop has a real thick stack height so lots of cushioning it's going to reduce the impact when you hit the ground it's got a little bit of an arch shape to it and a fantastic four foot rocker so it's doing a lot of that offloading for you smooth transition from step to step uh, just makes you feel like you're floating around but you've got that airy feel it's got nice thick straps to help lock it on your foot because normally in a flip-flop your a lot of the work is just to keep it on your foot right your toes are grasping just to hold on is that an 11? This is an 11, yeah. That's awesome one. Yeah. Throw them on, I trimmed my spin. toenails just for you guys at home. Probably still want to get uh, close up though there, Lukey boy. Ah, uh, okay. Nice. Nice. Okay, well, but besides Hoka, is that the only one you carry? No, so we have to have a, a variety of different brands because each brand will have it a little bit different shape. So we have to accommodate a whole bunch of different foot postures, right? So different brands will feel a little bit different, right? Okay. We know this brand, Birkenstock. Yeah, well some people brand. love Birkenstock. They'll swear by them. Other people have a hard time tolerating it. Why? Right? It, it's, a, it's a fairly aggressive arch and it's a hard cork that takes a little bit of time to, to break down and kind of mold around the contours of your foot. Okay. What's the ones? Is it Human Co? Human Co is our, our line of uh, sandals. Um, and it's just a different, again, it's got an art shape, a little bit of a heel cup to help keep your heel a little bit more vertical and well supported from heel strike to, to your toe. So even for sandals, you can come in and even if you haven't been in for shoes before, break down to what somebody, what the best shoe or sandal or flip flop would for be. For sure, for sure. We go through yeah. the same routine and then have them try it on, feel it, walk around. They can hop on the treadmill if they want and yeah. walk around for a few minutes. Okay, so St. Catharines, Hamilton, Stony Creek in a couple weeks? Two weeks, yeah, Two we're weeks. open for May, May 4th, grand opening. Grand opening, nice. And you yeah. have a lot of knee braces and stuff like that, but you also want to avoid people needing this type of stuff. And we'll get into kind of some of the hiking wear that you might want to have to, uh, so you don't have to be sporting one of these. We can come back on Morning Life. So what you wear on your feet is so important to how the rest of your body feels. I'm so guilty of that because I never really thought about that when I was a young lad because it didn't affect me. But now that I'm getting a little longer in the tooth, you realize how important that is. And it's going to be back with Kintech and, and Anthony because it's been a year since you guys made orthotics for me yep. and yep. worked through some of my plantar fasciitis and feeling good. And I got a new pair of orthotics that I'm going to work into, into, these, into these hokas. When it comes to a work shoe, we don't think about the work side of things. We want no. a good a hiker, a good runner. Yeah. Why do we not go there? Yeah, it's because it's not fun, right? So we want to make sure that your, your shoes are working as hard as you are, right? People get excited about coming in and learning all the different features of a hiking shoe or a running shoe um, that's going to enhance their experience of the thing that they're passionate about. When it comes to their work shoe, they often come in and like, oh, it just needs to be black. Right? Not taking into account the amount of time that you're spending on your feet, especially if you're, you know, you work at one of these massive hospitals or distribution centers where you're walking like thousands of steps per day, uh, kilometers, kilometers. Uh, it's eclipsing the amount of time that you're spending in your recreational shoes. Right? So where do you where do you start? Where do you go? Like obviously, what do you encourage somebody that is on their feet a lot and doing all of that for a work shoe? Yeah. So what's, what's a good work shoe? Whenever possible, we're gonna try and steer them into these these running shoes or these walking shoes, right? Um, if their job requires them to have a, just an all black service type shoe, we're, we're gonna try and get something that has the properties right. of a running shoe with that like thick that midsole. The, so we're back to this thick. Yeah, thick midsole, nice four foot rocker, um, strong heel counter to stabilize the foot. Um, all the features that we look for in our biomechanical video gait assessments, match them to make them move as efficiently as possible so that at the end of the day, they, their legs don't feel heavy and sluggish and achy. They're, they're ready to do the activities that they love to do. Brands, difference between brands. Every brand is offering something different? A little bit different shape, right? Every, every shoe company builds their shoes a little bit different. So for, for you, you may, be, you may fit 
awesome in a well, hoka. I'm, I'm loving these hokas, right? Yeah. And that's a brand that's really starting to come around that you're seeing more and more. But like you go the old classic brand of, of the Nikes. That's right. right. It all depends on your foot shape, right? So some foot shapes are going to fit differently in different shoes. So you have to match that shape with the, the individual. So someone may fit really well in a Brooks and their friend or their uh, wife may fit well in a New Balance. Right, so we've got to match that to their, and that's through the, the whole process of coming in here and, and figuring that's out. That's all what part of our one-to-one -one experience. Are you, what's the average age? Like I don't know, I'm I'm well, forty-ish. Are you seeing twenty-year-olds coming in and doing we that? We do. Thing? We see um, anywhere from you know the majority of teenagers that are athletic populations where we're looking at performance and recovery, right. uh, or injury prevention or injury um, uh, rehab. And then we're seeing um, middle-aged people that have been on their feet for a long history of, at work to um, older people that are dealing with arthritis and diabetes. And so we see a, a, a huge variety of people and, and what they need, their requirements are different based on their lifestyle right. and their life stage. So we've been to St. Catherine's store. This is the second one in the area behind the Hamilton store. We went and visited a couple times. Um, shout out to, where's Corey? Corey, there's Corey, where's Mike? Yeah, keep it looking like you guys are busy. Good job. Keep it up. <laughs> uh, you'll see Corey and Mike here at the St. Catherine store. And then the third one, Stony Creek, is opening in the next couple of weeks. Stony Creek. Yeah. yeah. Um, May 4th. And, and you're going to be doing a grand opening for that. So yeah. good stuff, man. I don't know. Like, not having plantar fasciitis, especially when you get up in the morning and doing that, like, walk to the bathroom. <laughs> the is lurch. Pretty, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty <laughs> great. So it's, it's cool. Thanks for the orthotics. And, uh, yeah, happy hiking, everybody.